is Dusty Jones, and we've got the Greek numeration system. This picture is a, a cover of a magazine uh, titled Notices of the American Mathematical Society uh, from September 2008. And this book is um, that's shown in the picture is written in Greek. It is a handwritten copy of uh, a text by Archimedes. Uh, the famous Greek mathematician. Uh, Archimedes didn't write this um, himself, but someone probably copied this down from what he had written. And what's interesting about this is uh, during the Middle Ages, when paper was scarce, uh, what uh, some folks did, some monks did, was they took this book and uh, bleached the ink off and then used the paper uh, for a prayer book. And then uh, what happened was some uh, scholars discovered this prayer book and it looked like something had been written underneath it and once they had removed the prayers they found the mathematics underneath it. There are two types of Greek numerals uh, that I want to tell you about. The older system is known as the Attic numerals uh, which began around 600 BC and the newer system uh, are the Ionic numerals which began around 200 BC. Of the two, I'm going to ask you to know more about the Ionic numerals. But first, the Attic numerals. The Attic numerals uh, were an additive system, just like the Babylonian system, the Egyptian system, and the Roman numerals that we've looked at. Um, it was not positional. Like the Egyptian system, the order of the symbols did not matter and there, like the other systems we've seen, there was no zero. The six symbols that uh, were used uh, were an I for one, a capital delta for 10, uh, a gamma for five, a capital eta, which looks like an H, for 100, a uh, capital chi for 1,000, and a capital mu, which looks like M, for 10,000. If you know the metric system, uh, some of these symbols are used uh, deca, meaning 10 for the delta, hecto from the eta, meaning 100, and kilo from the chi, uh, meaning 1,000. Uh, M probably stands for myriad, uh, which just means a whole lot. Here are some examples of Attic numerals. 43,217, I've written this a couple of different ways. One is with four mu's for the four ten thousands, three chi's for the three thousands, two eta's for the two hundreds, one delta for the one ten, and then the seven is represented by the gamma and the two iotas. Since the attic system is not positional, I can take those symbols and rearrange them in any order as long as I have the correct symbols uh, and get the same number. So here on the second example I have two iotas, three mu's, three chi's, another mu, two eta's, a gamma, and a delta. All of that still adds up to the 43,217. An interesting thing that the attic system did is for uh, five of something, um, like 550, 5,000, 50,000, uh, they took the gamma symbol, which meant 5, and tucked inside of it uh, the symbol for 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000. So, for example, in 543, we have a gamma with an eta inside, which means 500. And then uh, four deltas for the four tens and three iotas for the three ones. Again, those symbols could be rearranged. Uh, the important thing is the, the 500. In 761, we have a 500, a gamma with an eta inside of it, and then two more etas for the other 200s, uh, and then a gamma with a delta inside for 50, and then another delta to make it up to 60, and an iota. Uh, with 3002, um, there's none of this 500 stuff or 50 stuff going on. I just wanted to show you how it looks very different than, it, it looks like Roman numerals, but at the same time it's not Roman numerals. So 3002 is three chi's and two iotas in any order you would like. 
The ionic numerals, on the other hand, the newer system is, um, is also additive, is also not positional, is also, there's no zero, but the difference is the symbols that were used. They used 27 uh, letters, Greek letters, the 24 from the Greek alphabet that um, I've asked you to, to remember, and then to make 27 they used three other letters. These symbols uh, were for the numbers 1 through 9, uh, 10 through 90, counting by tens, and 100 through 900, uh, counting by hundreds. Since they were using the letters of their alphabet, sometimes a word and a number could look the same. And to indicate a number, um, they would use an accent mark, perhaps, or a line. In this text from Archimedes, uh, you see some of those uh, letters have lines over them, and that is indicating uh, the numeral. And here is an uh, excerpt from your book uh, showing those 27 Greek letters. Um, there are some, uh, some of those obsolete characters, um, the 6, uh, 90, and 900. For an ionic numeral, uh, there's lots of ways to do this. Again, uh, for 543, phi is 500, mu is 40, gamma is 3, so phi, mu, gamma uh, would be 543. But again, this is not a positional system, so mu, phi, gamma uh, would be 543. Uh, but also, since rho means 100, we could use five rows. Since kappa means 20, we could use two kappas. And since alpha is 1 and beta is 2, we could use alpha and beta. Uh, this way you could actually spell a word and give a numerical value along with it. The Hebrew number system is very similar to this in this way, uh, which is how people can take uh, parts of the Old Testament and then give a number that goes along with uh, the name of, or a word. To get a number larger than 1,000, uh, they used a comma in front of the number, uh, to get up to 9,000 anyway. So a comma in front of alpha would be 1,000. If there was a comma theta, pi delta, the comma theta, since theta means 9, the comma theta would be 9,000. Pi means 80, and delta means 4, so comma theta pi delta would be 9,084. We only use commas with the alpha through the theta, with the numerals for 1 through 9. Once you get 10,000, uh, they use this capital M, which is probably a holdover from the attic system, since M, a mu rather, means 10,000. So a gamma over a mu would mean 30,000. Uh, kappa delta, uh, since that means uh, 24, kappa meaning 20, delta meaning 4. Kappa delta over a mu would mean 240,000, 24 ten thousands. And if we wanted to write a number like 1,234,567, the 1,230,000 is the same as 123 ten thousands. So I put the symbols for 120 and 3, rho, kappa, gamma, over a mu. The 4,000 is a comma, delta. 500 is phi, 60 is xi, and 7 is zeta.